Hey finders and welcome back to fortune finds. I am a bare faced babe. I mean, I'm definitely wearing skincare. You guys know my skin is so dry. Once I wash it, I need to slather on the lotion. Otherwise it hurts. So I am wearing skincare and I did curl my lashes, but today we're focusing on the brows and I think I just got a lash in my eyeball. Yes. Why do I always have eyeball issues whenever I film? Why does this always happen to me whenever I film lately? Welcome to the Hot Mess Express. If you're not yet subscribed, we always have a good time here. I mean, even if you're not into makeup, I find that I struggle a lot through a lot of my videos and it's just kind of entertaining. So if you like entertainment and you just so happen to like beauty, you're gonna love it. So subscribe and also click that bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video. You need scissors, you need the Glossier Brow Flick because this is what we're using today to draw them in and some ratty old tweezers that I just can't find a better pair to replace, no matter how many new tweezers I buy. So that is what I'm using today. And then as always, like I think a spoolie is always great to have. I mean, this is actually, you really need this. This is like essential. Cause I'm gonna use this to like brush the brows and see where I'm missing hairs and then brush them down to do the same up top. So I just feel like you should always have a spoolie. I literally have a spoolie in every single one of my pocketbooks in my little makeup bags that I keep in each and every one of them. So always a spoolie. Without further ado, let's hop into it and get on to my eyebrow shaping and fixing featuring the Glossier Brow Flick tutorial. All right, so I'm just gonna get the hair out of my face. I'm just gonna clip it back because with brows, I really need to focus because I am known to pluck the crap out of them. So here we are, here we go. I'm not feeling nervous at all. I do this all the time, guys. Okay, so I'm taking this fully and I'm gonna brush the brows up. Glossier Brow Flick, I'm in the shade brown. I bought brown and black because it is good to have, you know, a few different colors. I think it does give a little more dimension to the brows, but the black is just like too dark for me. It is a felt tip pencil, as I'm sure m most of you know, like that's, the gossip on this. It's like a felt tip pencil, but you use it in your brows. So it really can perform how you want it to perform. If you just like flick it really gently, so I'll flick it really gently down here. Like you need to control it because if you push a little harder, it comes out darker. So really gently, you just, you gotta play around with it. Those were light and those I pushed a little harder. So you get the gist, you get different hair-like strokes. In the end, it gives a really natural look and the end result is very like microbladed. So it looks like my brows are just naturally this bushy. Less is more with this product. You need to shake it up. I like listening to my bracelet when I shake this product. <laughs> you need to shake it up a decent amount. And I would also store this upside down. So the tip down, that is how I would store this. That will make this last longer and it keeps the product towards the tip. And I'm just gonna flick this wherever I need extra brows. Like wherever I'm a little bald, I'm missing some hair. So I'll zoom you guys in a little bit more. Underneath the brow, I'm just gonna put this where I think I need extra coverage. The thing with this though, is that if you make a mistake, it's a little harder to take off. So if you make a mistake, I would wipe it ASAP with your finger. Brush them up again. And just look for any bald spots. And I'm just focusing on the tail. And I'm doing really light hair strokes because I don't need that much filled in in here. I'm really gonna have to focus more up here where I'm missing more hair. And that's pretty good for the bottom of my brow. Now I'm gonna take the spoolie and I'm gonna brush my hairs down. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. And I'm going to follow the hairs of my brow. So here they go straight in the middle like this. So I'm going to just draw my lines like that. So it looks more natural. I'm not going in diagonally. I'm going with the growth of the hair. So it looks way more natural. And I'm barely even pressing. And over here I'm missing some hair and I'm putting the brows down because that's where the hair 
is going, is growing, and then up here it's more vertical. So I'm just following the growth of the hair. See? And then I'm gonna brush it all up. And then I'm gonna check anywhere else that I need some more, which is a little bit in here. And those are kind of growing diagonally up with the arch. But then also kind of straight across. It's really vital, I think, when using this product to follow the growth of your hair. And now I'm gonna take the front of the brow and I'm gonna brush it up and we're gonna work on the bottom. Doing the same kind of idea that we did to the tail, we're doing to the front of the brow. And I'm flicking the hairs up. Cause in the front of my brow, my hairs naturally grow up. I'm sorry, when I was talking over here, I meant to say horizontal, not vertical. Those are horizontal hair strokes. These are vertical hair strokes. Sorry, I had a brain fart. I think you saw what I was doing. I just don't know how to speak sometimes, but you'll know that if you watch my videos. You'll already know. And I'm doing really, really light strokes. But I'm also keeping in mind how I want to shape the brow. So my brows, I know personally, they grow like a rainbow. So my brows are kind of like this. That's just naturally how they grow. They can look a little crazy. So I need to watch the bottom of my brow. I want it to be a little straighter. See how it's arching in like that? I want to straighten it out. So I'm not going to fill in the bottom because I want to get rid of some of the hair under here. So I'm placing this where I want my brow to really start. So I can use that as a guide to how much I need to get rid of under here, which is not a lot. It's very, very little. And then I'm going up a little higher and just filling in the top of the brow. Keeping in mind the shape. I want my brows to go like that. How, how they're shaping out to be. I'm just gonna go in and clean them up with a tweezer after. And I'm not gonna take too much out because I like a messy brow. But I just feel like they're getting a little crazy lately. And I feel like that looks really natural. Now I'm gonna go ahead, take my spoolie, I'm gonna brush them up, and then I'm gonna brush them down. And this is just gonna help the product blend a little bit more in with the skin. So I would like this to be a little bit higher. But this is like my misbehaved brow. Like this one is so much easier to shape because it's just shaped better. And I'm looking in a mirror like this so I can get really up close and see what I'm doing. I'm also looking at my lighted mirror in front of me so I can get an idea of what I look like from a distance and what I look like up close. Cause I feel like when you're plucking, when you're up close, you're like, oh, I need to pluck the entire brow. But then if you look from a distance, like you're like, oh, it's not that bad. It doesn't really look that bad in real life. It just looks bad when you're so, so close. You know what I'm saying? So I like to have different, a bird's eye view and like a close up view, you know? So I'm gonna take my tweezer and I'm just gonna get rid of what's ever up here cause this is like really high up and I'm never gonna bring my brow this high. It's just, I'll look like I'm like this, honestly, with my rainbow brows. And I'm really just gonna clean up anything that's pretty far from the brow. If there's a hair that I'm not sure if I should get rid of or not, I'll take my tweezer and like move the hair out of the picture without plucking it off and just see, like envision it without that hair. And if that plucking of the one hair takes too much space and creates a bald spot, then I won't pluck it. I'm just gonna clean up like what's ever, you know, outside of what I just created because this is my ideal brow. Then I'll pluck underneath. And obviously get rid of the unibrow. I don't have a lot of lid space, so I like my brows to be as high up as possible so I have more room to play with shadow, you know, because I like makeup and all. 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna brush it up, and I really don't need to fill in the brow on the bottom underneath this brow, like at all. I'm gonna fill in the tail a little bit over here, but my brows are pretty dense on the bottom of this brow. So I'm just gonna shake out my brow flick again. And I'm doing the end because this end is skinnier than this end. So I'm just gonna pump this one up a little bit. And really your brow should end. I'm just gonna go here so the brow is right where that hits. I'm gonna go here, the brow ends right where that hits. And then for the nose, I'm gonna take a little few off in here. So, and then the arch should be like right to the left of where the pupil is. It goes like this, then it goes like this, then it goes like this. I don't know, but my arch is my arch and I'm fine with it. I think it's a little too out left, but it's fine. I don't care, they're my brows, I like them. I'm gonna brush my brows down and then in here I need help. On both brows, that's kind of like my trouble area. Draw down like strokes right here because that's where this hair is growing. But I'm also gonna keep in mind the other brow. I'm just drawing like a rough outline for this brow to, to match the other brow. And the brows are going horizontally over here. So I'm just horizontally filling them in. And then I brush them up to see what they look like together. I don't want to go any higher with this arch because then it'll be too high on this one, you know? So I'm going to keep the rest of the brow low. And then I'm going to brush the front upward strokes across like I did with the other brow. Again, we're gonna have to clear some of this under here because it is going on a slant. So I'm just drawing where I want my brow to naturally start. And I'm gonna just clean up underneath this brow. Take my scissors and I'm just gonna Cut them a little bit in the front, nothing like major. I just want them to be a little bit more like tamed. But I don't cut them like right across. I kind of cut them like individually so that it's not like so uniform. I want them to look natural. But if I see one that's like too long, I'll cut him, you know? My brows are definitely cousins. They're not sisters. And I've just come to accept it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use a clear brow gel. I find that when using a brow flick, you should either use a clear brow gel or a tinted brow gel that is lighter than your brow. Arch brow gel from Hourglass. This is just a clear gel. You can use a clear gel. Any clear gel, it doesn't necessarily need to be this one. Or for me and my brow color, I would use the Essence Make Me Brow Eye Brow Gel Mascara, which you guys know I use all the time, in soft brownie brows. This is lighter than my typical one that I use that is brownie brows. This I like to use with a pencil. I don't know. It just I feel like when I use a pencil, I want a more like fake brow, if that makes any sense. Not that I ever want to look fake, but more of like a done up brow, but when I want a more natural brow, I find that using a lighter tinted brow gel really brings that texture. It brings a different shade, which creates a different texture, which creates more dimensions in the brow. So I kind of feel like it looks a little bit more natural, but I also really like a clear brow gel because you did go in and you move the brows around and you filled in where it needed to be filled in. And the brow gel is just going to ensure that your hairs stay in place. So I'm gonna use clear today just cause that's the vibe I'm going for. Universally, it's more flattering to have a brushed up brow. It lifts your entire face. Your brows frame the face. And if you push the brow hairs up, you're lifting the entire face. So I am brushing all of the hairs up. And if you think about it, that's what we did initially when we went in with the spoolie and we started filling them in. And I kind of push this forward, like towards the front of the brow. I think it just gives like a fluffier, stronger brow. All right guys, so here are the brows done. 
this is my brow tutorial i feel like i've come a really long way with the brow flick glossier brow flick it's really it takes a little getting used to it's not like your typical brow pencil which if that's what you're used to this is something different so practice strokes practice them on your hand like i showed you guys practice doing your brows practice before you go to bed that has always been such a savior for me and my makeup game before i go to bed i'll sit down in my beauty room i will practice something like winged liner i'll practice filling my brows in with a glossy brow flick like i did do when i first got it um lining my lips just do things before you go to bed because then you're just gonna wash your face slather on your night cream and go to sleep so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful then let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below i'll upload little tutorials like this more often and if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. Click that bell so that we can talk about brows, eyes, foundation, mascara, all that fun stuff together. And if you end up buying Glossier Brow Flick, come back. Or if you own it, comment down below now or come back and let me know if you end up buying it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if these techniques were helpful or if you have any techniques of your own. I'm constantly learning and I would love to hear some tips or tricks that you guys constantly use. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.